good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you're in the world, it's your boy JJ right here once again on JJ's PC Builds. Before we get started, if this is your first time here, make sure you uh, subscribe, like the videos, and uh, you know watch the videos from beginning to end. We're still trying to work towards 1,000 subscribers and we're still trying to work towards 4,000 watch hours to be monetized here on YouTube so it takes everybody to help us out here and also to just I'll let y'all know I'm gonna take your suggestion on um, I did read some of the comments and y'all are suggesting I got too long of a b-roll so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the b-roll to the beginning instead of right in the you know do my normal bit i'm going to try something different and i'm just going to let this roll all the way through so i figure i'll let you all know what i'm going to be doing so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the video Alrighty, the big news of the day. Seems like everything's going on around and around about this. The 4070 Ti was just announced on January the 3rd. It's being launched on January the 5th, which is tomorrow. Looking at some of the reviewers' benchmarks and everything else, it, you know, this 4070 Ti doesn't look too promising but it doesn't look that bad either but price wise you know it's still a bad deal i know i on my last video i gave them a little bit of a bad rap because of the fact of the price points but what we're going to try to do is find some graphs on this 4070 ti so you all can get a good conjecture of if it's going to be a good deal or a bad deal but to me, you know, I'm starting to think, you know, if you get, and from what I'm hearing, that they're not sending out, um, you know, um, founder edition cards that you're basically, they're sending out to these um, reviewers, uh, AIB cards. So basically, they're not. $800 cards anymore they're $850 cards from you know it's like $50 markup from originally suggested on the day of CES of what the prices are going to be so don't expect these cards to be what you think they're going to be as far as, um, you know, as far as um, them being, um, the 4070 Ti being uh, a good card, it could be a good card, but it's going to be a pricey card it, from what it's going to be total tailed. So if you're looking to get this card, um, you know, you never know. I mean, it could be a good card. It could, depends on where you buy it from starting tomorrow, um, what you're going to be doing with it, you know, far as if you're doing creator work with it, if you're doing gaming with it, or, you know, you're going to be using DLSS 3 off of it, you know, all depends on what you're going to be doing with the card that makes the difference. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig around for some benchmarks so that way we can show you, you know, at least one benchmark or two that I pull up offline so you get a general idea of what the 4070 Ti is going to be about.
Alrighty, we got through those benchmarks really quite well. Well, from what I was seeing, <clears throat> you know, the benchmarks are basically showing that, you know, looks like the 4080, the 3090, you know, they're basically the 3090 Founders Edition seems to be keeping up really well with. <laughs> this uh 4070 ti this is really this is really unbelievable you know blow for blow i can tell you that the 3090 ti is going to be you know the founders edition 3090 is going to be trading blow to blow with it um now as far as anything else you know it's hard to tell I mean I don't have the card in front of me you know these are just some benchmarks that I pulled up you know from the internet you know so basically from what they're showing is that the the 47 TI this is the gigabyte version doesn't seem like it's pulling ahead like it's supposed to I mean in some instance, like F122, it pulls out a little bit ahead of the 30, 3090 Founders Edition. But as far as the 3090 Ti, it seems that the 3090 Ti is staying ahead of the 4070 Ti. So basically, price for pound, you're taking a card that costs... You know, seven you know, thirty ninety Ti that costs seventeen eighteen hundred dollars, and you're taking and measuring it with the brand new card that they put out for eight hundred and fifty dollars. So, price to performance, it looks like you know, the forty seventy Ti could be better price to performance. For the simple fact that it's the newest card and it's got DLSS 3. But these are all, you know, all RT Ultra at 4K. So, you know, looking at that benchmark, it's just, this is just a base idea to give you that base idea of if this is going to be a good enough card for you or if it's not. Now, if you're thinking about buying a card for a thousand bucks, this might be a card for you that, you know, price to performance wise, it'll be, you know, save you about 300 bucks, 250, 300 bucks, you know, just to say in between there. But this is my conclusion, so I don't make this a long video. My conclusion is this. If they bring down the price maybe a couple more hundred dollars then really price the performance the card would be in everybody's wheelhouse but from what I'm seeing right now price to performance wise they do have other cards out there that are keeping up with this card that are better in performance so Maybe if they drop off a couple hundred bucks and later on down the road, then that card, yeah, will be worth what it's what it's about. But for now, starting out, being launched tomorrow, if you're thinking about getting it, you know, if it was me and I had that kind of money, yeah, I, I might have go out there and buy it. You know, just to be honest with you, I might go out there and buy it because of the AV1 encoding, you know, and stuff like that. You know, stuff that creators can do with that card will probably be an advantage for you if you're a creator. And also, too, with light gaming or mid-style mid, mid -style gaming, you know, it's probably a really good card. You know, but... Who's to say until you get the card in your hands and you test it out for yourself and you know what's going on. But anyway, make sure y'all like and subscribe to this, you know, to the channel. 
subscribing will help us out get to the 1000 watch uh, the 1000 subscribers and watch all the videos that will get us to the 4000 watch time hours to get us unlocked for monetization and then after that I will tell you what our goal is going to be after that but until the next video and the next time this is JJ your boy we will see you on the next one